Everyone has a bit of junk lying around the house, and most of us have more than a little. Keeping your house clean might seem like an impossible task, but it doesn't have to be. Need the inspiration to help you get started with your spring cleaning? Then keep on watching this video for some useful tips to have an organized and clean home. Welcome to Hella Organized, the channel where we gather the latest aesthetic decor with pocket-friendly methods. Our videos are guaranteed to keep you returning for more inspiration for your home. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss out on our latest uploads. Now, let's begin. Organize a little bit at a time. The very first step in home organization is to organize just a little at a time. While waiting for water to boil, then go ahead and toss out a few expired spices or reorganize the condiment drawer in your fridge. This is probably a perfect tip for decluttering your bathroom. As you wait for the bath to run, minimize the counter clutter. A little bit every day will soon add up. Also, this concept of baby steps and a little at a time will also help any overwhelming feeling. Even the smallest wins gives us a sense of accomplishment that motivates us to let the organization continue. You can start by focusing on small organizing projects every week to help you achieve your bigger organization goals. Put everything away after you're done. This is an obvious tip. However, failing to put away your belongings is the main enemy of untidiness. When going from room to room, do a quick scan to see if there's anything that you can take with you. You can also go out of your way to make sure that anything you wear, use, or move ends up where it belongs. It's simple to leave a pair of shoes near the front door, a few tops on your bed, and then some dishes in the sink for tomorrow. Such piles can quickly turn into big messes. If you don't have enough space, look into some DIY closet organization ideas like tension rods and shower curtain hooks. You can use over-the-door organizers to extend existing spaces in your rooms and closets. Store your smaller belongings with decorative baskets and organize your paper items with a mail sorter. One thing to note is that it takes much less time to put away your things each time than run around the house looking for them when you need them. Tidy up as you go. Indeed, cleaning as you go is one of the top secrets of people who always have a tidy house. How many clothes did you try before picking up the right one for today? Did you put it back in the closet or you left it as it is? Try returning your clothes to the closet instead of leaving them scattered on your bed. Put toys back in their boxes, rearrange the throwaway pillows nicely, and put your coats up. It's that simple. Don't let your house become a mess by placing things where they are not meant to be. This tip of tidying up as you go will always keep your home clean. The one touch rule. This tip is maybe one of the most important tips to consider when keeping a clean house while keeping the clutter at bay. Only touch an item once. How does this work? Here's an example. You go out to get the mail. Instead of throwing it on the kitchen counter to grow into a giant mound by the end of the week, go directly near a trash can and then sort it. Around 90% of the items will most likely be discarded junk mail, flyers, or catalogs, so you can quickly take care of a good part of it. Any books you get can be immediately placed in their home, along with some great beautiful options for magazine holders. All the bills should be taken care of right away, instead of being added to a pile to tend to later. Do a load of laundry daily. A daily laundry habit is life-changing. Put in a load before heading out to work. Or, if your washing machine has a sort of delayed start cycle, you can set it to run right before you get home. You can transfer damp clothes to the dryer after dinner and fold them when watching TV. Putting away one load of laundry takes no time at all. If you can't decide what to wash, then you can use a laundry sorting hamper and then grab one that has the most clothes. Sort and recycle paper ASAP. Bills, mail, catalogs, and school papers arrive almost daily and setting them aside leads to a pile taking over the kitchen counter or the dining table. Then you look at the stack, you feel too overwhelmed to deal with it, and then it continues to grow. You can start by dealing with the mail daily when you bring it into your house. Having a paper shredder around makes handling junk mail simple. This way, you could put the bills in a sorter where you can grab them on payday and then toss the flyers into your recycle bin. Keep a house cleaning schedule. We all can imagine how hard it is to clean up a spilt cup of coffee on the kitchen floor if you have let it sit there all night. Mopping it up right away, at the same time, only takes a few seconds. And, 
The same thing goes for the rest of your home. If you decide to clean it all one day a week, or one room a day, following a schedule is one of the most important secrets to keeping a clean home. So, don't make your home look chaotic before you do chores. If you haven't used something in a while, let it go. Now, this tip can be kind of tricky for some. If you haven't used something for over an entire year, you probably won't. You can let go of things you never use. They are taking up valuable space in your home and contributing to your mental as well as physical clutter. Moreover, one of the easiest ways to do this is by organizing a capsule wardrobe. It is easy to spot the clothes you wear all the time and the outfits you haven't worn in years. And once you make a start, you will soon whiz around your home. And if you aren't sure how long it's been or when the last time you used it was, it's been too long and you don't need it. Give everything a place and keep it there. If you constantly fight the battle of mess in your home, it's probably because you have homeless items. Each item in your house should have a place to return to when you've used it. Also, this is a great tip to teach children as well. When finished with something, put it back where it belongs. While each item needs to have a home, it's important to return them to their home when you're done with them too. For example, spices belong in a specific cabinet or on a spice rack. Toys will go into a toy bin. Cosmetics are kept in the drawer, not cluttering counter space. This little trick will keep your home tidy all the time. Keeping your home organized shouldn't be an uphill battle all the time. While it may be challenging to get motivated initially, these five rules are the perfect place to start. They will not only keep your home tidy, but help you make real progress on organizing it, even if you don't have a lot of time or spare space. Have the mindset to keep your place clean always. No matter how great your cleaning system is, if you don't have the attitude to do it, it becomes a waste. And with that, your clean neighbor already has the mindset of always keeping their house clean. For example, you see that your kitchen island has scattered table napkins and used plates on top, yet you tell yourself that you will clean soon. Do you think you can seamlessly keep your home organized and clean with that attitude? I guess not, right? And so, you can start your day by making your bed and not making any excuses for doing it later because you'll forget. Start your habit of cleaning today. Well, that's all we have for you today. Which cleaning tip did you find the most useful? Get involved and let us know in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it interesting, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to always be up to date with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in another video.